Livingston County is actually a little bit like an island in that the northern and the southern part of the county are bisected by this river and this is the only crossing between the two parts of the county. We're at a very uh, narrow spot in the Cumberland River so to think about building something here would require temporary supports in the river or a uh, possibly a, a big installation just upstream or downstream. With commercial navigation industry in this area and the very tight turns it's here, this site really only lended itself to uh, floating in, into place. We erected this truss at the Paducah River Port, which is roughly 15 miles away by road and about 15 miles by river travel as well. just under five hours from the time we left the port and most of that time was really in the turns away from the river port and docking up here on site. I think we're predicting an 87 foot lift so we're looking at about 90, 95 feet off the water at, at the highest point this afternoon. So there's two, two techniques for, for building bridges of this type. You know, we could either assemble the truss in place or float it in. And whenever you assemble in place, you know, you have a crane barge that would be in the river for quite a period of time, several days on end. There's a lot of barges that use the river. Um, there's a few rock quarries uh, upstream of here. So that, that was a pretty important consideration in the project was to design something that uh, had minimal impact to the river traffic. In the end, we ended up with a 700-foot main truss span over the Cumberland River. The trusses tend to have a bad reputation of being clunky, um, outdated type structures. It have lots of members, lots of visual cl clutter, uh, difficult to erect. So our challenge was uh, to figure out how to trim that down, how to slim down the truss design. So we eliminated as many members as we felt we could and still get a really nice efficient design. So for the user, it's, it's really nice to have that open visual space, reduce clutter as you're looking out the side of the window. You never really can get a sense of the size and the scale of a project until you put a new truss right next to an old one. So to see this yesterday as it started floating down the river, no, you know, this is really the last major phase of this project. It, I mean, it was awesome. It's been a long time coming. The community, local leaders, local residents have been asking for this for a long time, pushing for it, trying to get funding for it, and it feels very good to see that we're one step closer to getting it completed.